Hello and welcome to another simple ass tutorial where I teach your ass to do some simple stuff. Today we're going to be working in GIMP and learn how to create an oval that has a thick border that we can put lettering in. So what you first want to do is open up GIMP and create a palette. If you're not familiar with how to do that, you're in the wrong damn tutorial, you need to back your ass out and go find a different one. For those of us who do, open it up, create your palette. And the tool we're going to be using today is the Ellipse Select tool. Please select it. Then come over here to your palette, and we're going to pull out our oval that we want to use. And you do that by left-clicking on the palette and dragging out till you see an oval that you like. There is no perfect oval. It's just all subjective to your project. So I like that shape of that oval. So I'm going to release my left button and then click in the center. This creates a selection in the shape of the oval that you've created. Choose Select, and then choose Selection Editor. This brings up this menu box for you. In the bottom right hand corner of it you'll see a little paintbrush on a red square. Please click on that. That'll give you the stroke selection option. I click on stroke and you'll see over here on the right hand side it has created a line where your ant crawl selection line was before. So that's good. Alright so now we need to make it thicker so that we can put lettering in it. So our next step is going to go up here to the menu again. Choose select and then choose grow and then you can make the border however big you want or the thickness I'm gonna choose 80 for this tutorial so I click OK and you'll see that the line selection jumped out and that gives me my border that I like so then I'm gonna go back to select selection editor that gives me my menu for stroke selection again I'm gonna click in the bottom right hand corner on the paint tool so I'm just going to hit stroke and this gives me the two lines that I need to be able to fill in between to create my thick oval the first thing I'm going to do is is press control A that gets rid of that oval selection that I had going before now to fill in this I'm going to use my paint bucket tool so let me go over here and choose paint bucket and then down here at the bottom at threshold yours is probably going to be set at 15 what you want to do is go ahead and boost that up. I'm going to boost it up to about somewhere around 120. There's no exact number. It doesn't really matter. Just get it up over 100. That way when you fill in this white area, it doesn't leave little white, little mini white borders. So now that I've got my threshold boosted up, I'm now going to click in this white border. And you'll see that that filled in the white area. All right, now that we've got that oval created with a thick border, now we can put some letters in it. The first thing we want to do is click up here in the ruler area and to do this make sure you have the little cross the selection the move tool selected click up here in the ruler area left click and drag down this is going to give us a guide to work with and there you go um, and so now to create our uh, lettering we want to collect, select the path tool that's a little calligraphy pen looking deal with the yellow tip and then come over here and we're gonna, first we've got to create our path then we'll put the lettering on the path so I'm gonna first lay, select the first anchor point for my path and then I'm gonna go over here to the other side select there and then in the middle here you're gonna left click and drag up this will create the, create the arch in your path and you can tweak this by these handles here. It'll let you pull back and forth just to show you what it'll do when you drag the handles. Um, we're going to make this fairly quick for sake of the tutorial. I'm going to put it there and there. And now we've got our path. So now we need to create some text. And now I'm going to click uh, on my lettering so I can create the letters that I want. Select color and let's make it red. And the reason for this is so that you're able to see it whenever you're creating the text. If it were white text, you wouldn't be able to see it against the background. So now I'm going to uh, type in the text that I want to see. And I'm going to type in, this is curved text in an oval. And then I'm going to hit close here. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose the font that I want. Uh, for this, I'm going to choose a font that's a little bit thicker so that you can see it. Uh, so I'm probably going to do a Comic Sans. And let's go down here. Comic Sans. 
bold right there and then I'm gonna boost up the size like so all right so now I want to apply this text to my path so I'm gonna click text along path and you'll see it popped up here all right I don't really like where the text fell it's not really where I wanted it so I'm going to click control Z this will undo what I just did and I'm gonna click on my text area and close this box a little bit because that's what's making it jump up over here instead of being down over here so I'm gonna adjust that by moving this you click in this area and move that up and down so I'm gonna click it up to about there and then I'm gonna hit close and then I'm gonna choose text along path again to see where we're at now okay so now you see how it fell inside the uh, oval here but we've got a problem it's all over here to the left and I want it to be more in the center so let's hit control Z one more time and I actually want it a little bit lower so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna adjust this one more time so that by pushing this up I'm actually pushing the text down so I'm gonna hit close here and right here you're gonna look in your toolbar in the text area you see where it says justify we want to center it so I click on centered and then let's click text along path and we see that this is closer to the center both vertically and horizontally but I'm still a little bit over to the left even though I've clicked center now we can adjust this again let's click control Z and we can adjust this by sliding this bar left to right so I'm gonna click inside of it and then I'm gonna slide it to the left and let's see what that does close text along path and we see my my text is still a little to the left so I'm gonna hit control Z and let's try adjusting it the other way and see what happens let's just go big and slide it that way close text along path and you see how that took your text more over to the right so you can adjust where that text falls by adjusting the size of this text box up here um, I think this is good like I said for the sake of this tutorial actually I'm gonna make the text a little bit bigger so I'm gonna hit control Z and I'll boost the size of the text up to 40 text along path I like that okay so my text is now in place so what I want to do now is go to windows dockable dialogs and then click on paths this is going to bring up your paths toolbox and we'll set that there because we'll be working with that all right now that you have the paths menu in place what we actually want to do, this may seem counterintuitive, but just trust me on this. Go up here into your layers box. If you don't already have layers open, let me close this and show you. You can just press Control L and that'll bring up your layers. And so anyway, <clears throat> right here, you're going to click on your text layer. Make sure it's highlighted and delete it. Now once that's gone, let's go back to our Paths layer, or our Paths toolbox, and make sure the one that has your text to the right of it, that you see that's the layer, or the path, make sure it's highlighted, right click it, and choose Path to Selection. Okay, so now that your text is turned into a selection from a path, you can now convert it to a color, or you can cut it out of this layer, however you want to do it. Uh, the first thing we can do with this is take the eraser tool and run over this and you see it just erases the black which leaves you the white background that's great for if you want to print it out and say do some screen printing or whatnot with it now if you were doing a graphic for the internet or to be printed out you might want to make it a certain color so I'm gonna hit control Z to back up and I'm gonna choose my paintbrush and I've got green selected as a color I'm going to make my paintbrush a little bit bigger so I can just do this in one swipe. And you'll see that when I paint over the selection, I now have green text. And to take away the little ant crawly lines or the selection lines, I'm just going to hit Control A. And you'll see I'm left with the green text. And so that's how you can put text in an oval.